Hello crafty friends. In today's clean and simple card making video, I make three wedding cards for you using one mixed media piece that I created. First, let's look at the mixed media piece. To start with, I placed a piece of smooth white card on my grip mat and then took Spun Sugar Distress Oxide ink and swiped the ink pad over the paper. Spun Sugar is a very light colour, so it takes some work to build up a visible layer, but I find swiping is much quicker than using a blending brush with this colour. As I plan to make wedding cards, I decided on a heart motif. I am nothing if not predictable. So I took a tumbling heart stencil and stenciled on some saltwater taffy distress oxide. This is a more intense version of Spun Sugar, I think, so I knew it would show up well. After I'd finished stenciling, I decided to splatter on some gold metallic paint. I just love the look of metallic splatters and how they catch the light when you tilt the card. I didn't want the metallic to take away from the little hearts though, so I used a very pale gold rather than a rich gold, so the spatters stayed subtle. Once my spatters were dry, I used a cover plate die to cut into my mixed media piece. The die gives a frame plus 12 stitched squares. I also used the die to cut some smooth white card. You'll see why in a tip. Next, I took the white frame and washi taped it to the front of a card blank. I then added some glue into the apertures and took three of the mixed media squares and inserted them into the second row down. I then filled all the other rows with plain white squares and removed the frame. This was a fairly straightforward process, although the matte gel medium that I use as a glue is not very tacky, so some of the squares shifted when I removed the frame. Fortunately, I was able to slide them back into place fairly easily though. To add a little something extra to my focal row of squares, I decided to cut a heart from pale gold glitter card and I added it over the gap between the middle and right hand squares. I then glued a on your wedding day sentiment over the top. I created this sentiment in the Silhouette Studio software and cut it out with my Cameo digital cutting machine. And this is a great way, if you've got the machine of course, to create sentiments that you haven't got stamps for. And that was the first card finished. I wonder if you were going to make a card like this for a wedding, what colours would you choose? I think it would be quite nice to find out the colour scheme of the wedding and use those colours, but that might be a closely guarded secret, I think. For my second card, I used four mixed media squares instead of three and arranged them one in each row in a sort of random design. Instead of using glue though, I added adhesive to the back with my Xyron sticker maker. This worked really well as the squares didn't shift when I removed the frame.
To decorate this card, I added a pale gold glitter heart again in the middle of the second row down, just to bring in a bit of balance. And then I added another print and cut sentiment that says, let love grow. I guess this sentiment would work for other occasions too, not just weddings. For my third and final card, I decided to go full on square design. I only used three rows of the frame and added the white and mixed media squares in a checkerboard design onto a piece of card rather than a card blank. I then trimmed that piece of card down to a square, matted it with a larger square and then added the whole thing onto a five by five inch card blank. Instead of a heart this time, I added a big gold with love sentiment right in the middle. So this card is another one that would work for more than just weddings. And that's all three cards done and dusted. I hope this video has brightened your day and that it's given you a few ideas. If it has, please let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you back here soon for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.